Good morning. It's Renee, your wealth coach. For those that are out there that are mothers, happy Mother's Day. Yeah, what am I doing on here and it's Mother's Day? You know what? You got to be consistent. <laughs> and so um, I've been waiting and wanting to do this video for a minute. Today I'm going to um, continue the conversation on precious metals. Um, that is something that um, I do add to my personal uh, financial portfolio. Um, I buy silver and gold. And right now I buy more silver than gold because the price, you know, I can get more coins, <laughs> uh, silver coins right now um, versus buying um, gold. So I just wanted to come on and just share some things with you today, show you my new coins that I'm adding to my, uh, or have added to my portfolio. Um, I highly recommend um, uh, purchasing gold and silver here, and I got a lot, got my notes down here, I got things down here to show you, but uh, one of the reasons why I purchase uh, silver and gold is because, um, for one, it's currency. And it's currency that you can use all over the world. No matter what country you're in, uh, silver and gold is relevant in all countries. Um, and it's currency. So say if I was um, going to buy my uh, next property and um, I needed a down payment, I can use my silver and gold for a down payment. It's money. And some people call it God's money, and, and I'm okay with that because it's been around for centuries. It doesn't lose its value. It increases in value. If you get the right coins, add to your, um, I'll call it my treasure, um, you know, it will feed myself and my family for generations. Um, one nice thing is I wanted to just come on and show you different um, aspects of the gold. So um, how do I purchase it? Actually, I go online. I go online. Um, there's goldandsilver.com. I've purchased from them. And I now have been uh, purchasing it from, it's A-P-M-E-X. And that's the name right there. They send it in a little plastic bag like that with its um, the name of it. Um, so I'm going to just break down um, the different aspects of the gold here. So um, I either purchase it online. There are gold and silver stores um, in your city that you can go and purchase. Uh, you can go to coin shows. Um, and make purchases um, and then sometimes uh, and I'll show you how you'll just once you start doing things like if you get into real estate you'll start to uh, meet people that are into real estate and find deals uh, everywhere <laughs> and same with gold and silver you you begin to find people that do it so now that my collection is growing <laughs> um, you know when I was a little girl my aunts and uncles you know, they would give us silver coins, silver dollars uh, growing up. But back then, when you're young, um, unless you have a parent that understands and um, helps you uh, save it and, uh, you know, use it to your advantage, um, you'll just spend it and won't even think about it. Um, but in my older years, I got back into it. Uh, again and so a couple of things um now that it's growing i bought a safe just to keep it in so yeah so i had to get a safe and the other thing is um i'm in my legacy phase so i give it out to everybody <laughs> give it out um so how i store it i now have a safe you can buy containers to keep it in. Um, it comes, sometimes they'll come in little plastic things. Um, you can buy 
you know, there's different ways to preserve it. Um, and the, the, the coins come in different, you could buy silver and gold in different ways. So, um, here is, it's called a round and that's what that looks like. This is a one ounce of silver. So when you look up the cost of silver, so if you, uh, look at the cost, it, it's on a, uh, like the stock market, you can look up the cost of silver and, and, and gold and the precious metals. So on Friday, silver was at $22.59. Um, you can, um, like gold was at $1,892.03 on Friday. You can get platinum. That was at $976.31. I might uh, try a platinum uh, coin next. Um, I actually, I did see one and I didn't get it. I wish I had, but I think I'm going to add that, start adding platinum to my collection as well. Um, you can get copper, precious metals. Um, it's something that you can add to your portfolio and it's an asset. So you can buy it in a coin. You can buy it as bars it comes in many different forms and so and they're worth money and they increase in dollar here's a silver dollar this is a silver dollar that i can go to the store and spend and if i use if i go into the store and buy something they're gonna treat it as if it's a dollar because it is a dollar <clears throat> but this is actually worth money it's worth more than a dollar Last time I checked, I have to check again because the prices change um, over and over again. But I, um, somebody was carrying this around in their purse for years. It was passed down from their dad and they just didn't know what to do with the silver coins. And so I gladly helped them out and, and took those coins off their hands. People, sometimes you don't even know the, that you have something valuable um, so, um, the other thing is that there's, uh, professional jewelry gloves. Um, I did a video one time and I was showing this silver dollar because it's worth money. And my daughter already knows this is for my grandchildren, um, towards their college fund. And, uh, a guy reached out to me congratulating me <laughs> and he was like, well, where's your gloves? And I was like, Ooh. so you learn as you go along. So, um, there's a proper way to handle your silver and gold. I do have gold in here as well. Where is it? Look, that's what I said. I had to get a safe now. Oh, I gotta find it. It's in here somewhere. Maybe it's in my other... I have it put up. Oh, it's in here coins everywhere so I have a silver coin and see it's in a case already one thing is that there's a proper way to handle the coins so you could tell that <clears throat> this coin has been handled and and just all over the world and back <laughs> so this was back in 1885 so it's been around the world so I just bought a brand new coin just like it it's called a um a Morgan dollar so look, they're both the same. So this is what a brand new one looks like. And this is what one that has been in circulation. And so those are other things that you find out. If it's been in circulation or hasn't been in circulation, it means that there's just more money that it's worth. Oh, I should have bought my scissors over here. So now that I have my gloves, I can take them out of the plastic uh, covering give you a more personal up look up front look and so when you buy silver and gold here let me put on the other glove i hope they're not in your way and that you can see them you want to buy it at 0.999 percent this is silver this is one ounce so when you look up the cost of silver is this is 22 dollars if I were to trade it in, and it may be worth more, you have to go to people that specialize in, in where you could trade it in. But again, these two coins are exactly the same. The only difference is 
this one has been in circulation and this one hasn't, so you can see the difference. So I was also advised never to clean this because if you do, it takes the value down. But I just got this coin in the mail, but it's the exact same. But this one is worth more than this because it's been, I don't know, I can't see the year on this, but that's what it determines how much value your coin is worth. And um, I have a magnifying glass somewhere, but I didn't pull it out. But and where it was made, what uh, minting uh, factory it was made in, uh, where it may be worth more money than others. So that's one of the new coins that I got. And sometimes they'll have like, you know, they'll create a series of coins. And then after I take it out of the plastic, then I can then put it in this closed seal container. So this is how I store my coins to keep them clean. Um, Another new coin that I just purchased. I take off these gloves. bought an Etherin coin and I have a Bitcoin one as well. Here's the Bitcoin. And the reason why I got the, these in silver because when you buy Bitcoin and you buy in the cryptocurrency, which I do invest in that as well, um, there's the Bitcoin one. And here's the Ethereum. And these are two cryptocurrencies that I also um, invest in. But there's nothing. One thing about where we're going in the future with things is that when I buy silver and gold, I have a tangible coin. But when you buy uh, crypto, there's nothing tangible that you have. You're exchanging money for something that's not tangible. But it's supposed to work just like silver and gold to where as it's a currency. So I could have used my Ethereum um, crypto to purchase this. And so that's what you could do too. I mean, you can make one money, make money in one area, one stream of income in crypto or stocks and then convert it into real estate or convert it into a business or convert it into something tangible so the reason why i got these coins is because i want to remind myself that you know my goal now and whether i have which i do have real estate i do have stocks i do have crypto i do have silver and gold that each area is going to generate me a million dollars so this is just a reminder that bitcoin and or ethereum Ethereum, what is it? I know I'm saying it wrong, but you know what I'm trying to say. That one of these two items is going to make me a million dollars in in my investment. So again, once I open it, I can put it in my nice little container. Now, the last time I came on, and I really couldn't show it because I didn't have my gloves, but. And I purchased them. You could purchase them once a month, once a year, every three months. Um, so, so far it's April and I've already purchased six coins. This coin, we play, we, if you play a cash flow game, this is one of the coins you purchase. Cougaran from South Africa. So you can buy coins from other countries, but again, once you open them, you can put it right into your closed concealed 
container to keep them as clean and as pure as possible. But again, you don't have to buy coins. You could buy bars. This is uh, 10 ounces of silver. And this one is five ounces of silver. And eventually I'm gonna get a, you could buy a keloid, which is about the size of a brick. You can buy that in gold and silver as well. But um, again, precious metal. So I have, right now I have silver, gold, and I have copper. And here's a copper penny. <laughs> so at one time, the money that we used every day was worth money. It's worth money today. So, um, you know, sometimes you're walking outside, you're walking and you see uh, pennies on the ground. Take the time to pick them up and see if they're worth more than just that penny. So, yeah, so I wanted to come on and share that with you. Um, wanted to show you my new coins. Uh, let's see, I got the Bitcoin. Oh, I showed you all three. So there's the the um, what is she called? And they all have names. Ethereum, that's what it's called. Bitcoin. There's my Bitcoin. Silver Bitcoin. So I hope that that was. Um, enlightening and uh gave you some uh, another outlook on silver and gold and thank you for joining me and again happy mother's day to all my mothers out there bye for now